welcome to Animal X. I've sent Daniel and Natalie to meet a couple of abductees. Rochelle de Lea, who claims to heal people using alien powers, and David Sandikoff, who says he's had as many as six close encounters with reptilian-looking aliens. I guess the creature was fairly tall. I didn't want to look at the face. Can you explain to us how you actually communicated with these creatures? Was it like talking like we are now? It's almost like a telepathic, well, I would say it'd be a telepathic conversation. Uh, what they said to me basically was like downloading of information about how fear controls us. We are totally controlled by fear. Where do you think that these creatures actually exist? Are they from Earth? Are they... What actually are the creatures? I think these creatures don't exist on this physical reality that we call Earth. I believe they uh, exist in another dimension. It's really interesting because scientists are starting to realise that reality is not reality. We could be living in the Matrix. This could all be a dream. How time is perhaps not linear. You know, there's, it's, time perhaps does not exist. There is a level of existence where there is all time. You can actually be in the past, present, future at the same point in time. And not only that, you can be everywhere, but nowhere at the same time. I mean, these are kind of like Eastern mystical sort of um, points and stuff like that. Interestingly, many of them initially are fearful because they don't know what they're experiencing, not necessarily because of what's happened. So that to isolate the fear, is it them or is it me fearful because I don't know what's going on? When they actually get to understand it, many of them actually change how they, they view the experience and many say they feel a love coming from the beings and a sense of almost kinship with some of them. Some of them will say, look, you know, I feel they're more like family than my human family almost. Well, let's talk about the reptilian life forms that you've seen. Um, when I've encountered them, I've more felt their presence around me. Um, sort of blurry images of them that I've had have been them having a fairly elongated um, head, um, narrowing down at the bottom and having teeth, um, quite sharp pointed teeth and quite narrow slit eyes. Do the reptilian life forms have a particular language? Most of the communication I've felt from them has been uh, through thought transference. Um, if I was to make some sounds, which I can probably do, that um, would emit the sort of frequencies that I get from the reptilians, I can definitely do that. 